Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable speakers. Welcome to University Bookstore Malaysia Digital Odyssey. Before we start, University Bookstore Malaysia would like to thank Professor Ghana, President of Malta, for giving us this opportunity to run this workshop in the University of Nottingham Teaching Centre. Right now, I would like to uh, invite Professor Ghana to come up and present uh, his work on speech. Professor Ghana. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please bear with me if you know, my voice breaks <laughs> during the course of this uh, short speech because I've just completed a three-day conference uh, next door at uh, Royal Chulam. Um, first of all, this event, the Digital Education Odyssey, uh, is actually the brainchild of uh, Mr. Keith Tom, uh, the Managing Director of UBSM. Uh, when we discussed this uh, a few weeks ago, uh, we thought, uh, we, meaning, uh, you know, I wear two hats. One is um, I'm president of MELTA, Malaysian English Language Teaching Association, uh, and the other is I'm head of school for the School of Education in the University of Nottingham, Malaysia. So we, you know, schizophrenically thought that it's a great idea uh, because there's a lot that has been said about uh, education and moving it into the 21st century. Uh, in fact, within the Malaysian education framework itself, 21st century learning is being pushed very hard. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, in many of these um, sort of meetings and discussions and, and seminars and workshops, um, 21st century learning is equated very much to uh, technology right, and digital education. However, uh, critical in this discussion is, uh, is the understanding that it's not just technology that matters in 21st century learning. Uh, what matters is also how technology is used, how the resources that are available to us digitally are used, uh, and the kind of literacies and skills that can be developed through the use of these digital materials. And rather than look at things simplistically right, and say, if I have technology in my school, then I'm in 21st century school, uh, to look at the use of technology and how it transcends right across the whole system of the learning environment in school, how students and children use technology, how teachers embrace technology to enhance learning rather than simply use it as a medium that they apply in the classroom. So, given this situation, given, given Malaysia's own situation, but more so that globally this drive is becoming more and more important, we thought that this is an important event. In fact, we uh, discussed, Keith and I, just had a short discussion about how we should and could make this a, an annual event. Uh, nationally, uh, because there is a space for it, there is a, a demand for it, um, and there, there are a lot of stakeholders who want to be part of it, and by stakeholders, I'm not just talking about those who uh, provide the services and products, I'm talking about the users right across the board, from uh, the institutions of education, the Ministry of Education, uh, as well as schools, higher education institutions, uh, but also parents and learners themselves. So if an event can be constructed that is embracing all of these stakeholders, then I think it will be a very, very important event um, that can be sustainable. So these are, these are some of the issues that I think uh, we all want to think about and we all want to see how to connect to it. As far as uh, Malta and the University of Nottingham, our concern, we are very supportive of this event, we think it's a great event, um, and we will continue to support the event, um, because in the university itself, we are driving towards 
uh, a more digital, more inclusive environment for learning rather than the more traditional uh, classroom-based environment. So with that, I'd like to congratulate EVSM again for you know, putting together this event, I think in, on, on a very, very uh, tight timeline, right? Um, and linking it to the Malta conference as well. Uh, and I hope that you've had, you will have a great time this morning. Thank you very much.